my good people i hope you all are doing great from your respective uh, classes thank you so much for your love your support for always tuning in and uh, if you are new here kindly don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join our family which is sussex squad forever and uh there's something i came across and it's worth it's very funny i can't say because on my side i literally just love because there's this whole story of you know what prince william refused to meet harry during harry's sudden visit to the uk my first question popping out is in the first place did harry fly all the way to come visit him or see him the answer stands very clear no and uh, the second question also is uh, did harry even request to see william in the second place and uh, of course no because he's no he doesn't have time for bullshit he doesn't have time to entertain such people brothers who pretend to be brothers but in real sense aren't true brothers but inciters i could wish because if one was to sit down and just recall statements been released by close friends to william the fact that you know what i'm not ready to reconcile with my brother and the next time we will see each other is probably during our father's funeral and that he's not ready for any reconciliation then yesterday you come about a whole story of this non-person camilla tomini speaking of you know what now it's that time that william kind of requires brotherly love and harry needs to kind of excuse who says who like now that charles is unwell isn't harry also affected that's my question because yesterday i read the whole story and i bet you've seen the the whole story of ours here and i'm like no because harry is not desperate to meet with anyone the fact that he decided to make a visit to go visit visit charles doesn't show or doesn't tell that he's desperate for any reconciliation with anyone first we need to get that clear because i'm like why do they always tend to use harry in almost everything the fact that they are saying uh, william refused to meet up with harry they also need to understand or refresh it uh, also harry never asked to see william and uh, he didn't fly all the way from us to come uh, visit him his main agenda was to see his father and that's what he basically did so when you come across some stories you're like the ones recreating or the ones writing they don't give a second thought to what they bring about to public but instead continue embarrassing themselves like literally because they are trying to make it look like william snubbed harry but in real sense that's not the case because harry didn't go there to meet up with him just allow me to take you through an article about the same and you also have a chance and opportunity to just leave your comments and thoughts of what you think about this whole story down below as soon as buckingham palace announced that king charles's cancer diagnosis royal reporters fired up their laptops and wrote a series of columns and think pieces suggesting that prince william isn't up to the job and that he desperately needs to make peace with the prince harry even funnier the royalist put it all on harry like harry was supposed to beg william for something says who beg for what because if i remember very well i say harry harry and megan like oh no one any explanation neither are they going to apologize for what the other ones who are supposed to be apologized to not them apologizing it's not the other way around that's because any royalist with a half a brain and knows that prince william is still sat with rage about things to do with harry speaking of william i read all those think pieces and his response was to insist via sources that uh, he will never ever meet his brother and harry wishes like you know the sources 
I don't know if they, they, they get what they're saying or whenever kind of William sends them with such pieces, don't they have questions to question back? The other same people with the whole story of uh, they need to reconcile. They were the same story which which states that William wants to kind of create peace, wants peace with his brother, and it's for the better over their kingdom, for the better over the entire UK. That was the peace if you came across it. There were the same people to say that, you know what, he's not going to forgive Harry simply because he hasn't sent any, you know, any concerns ever since the story of Cat having been uh, or having undergone the abdominal surgery. And I'm questioning myself. Harry and Meghan have gone through a lot. Even after them releasing their, 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 their docu-series, after them, or after Harry releasing his memoir spare, they never responded, but instead spoke of how they've been betrayed by a young, a young boy. And I'm like, what's, what's the main issue? What's the attack on this? Because... Harry doesn't even give a damn shit of what they have to say. Harry has no time for them. That's why he rarely responds to such things. Because basically what Harry and Meghan have chosen to do, and I personally kind of agree with 100% fully, is the fact that they've chose to cultivate peace of mind. The fact that they've chose to cultivate, you know, they have chose to put their mental health straight. Because after them, after them living in the UK, I bet they went for therapy. And at the moment, they are in a better place, most especially to do with their mental health, and wouldn't want certain experiences to lure them down any further. Other outlets must have gotten the same briefing, but they made it sound more, much more mutual, as in neither Harry nor William were prioritizing some kind of brotherly meeting. I wonder who dropped, in quote, if the opportunity were to arise to see the Prince of Wales, then the Duke would have gladly accepted it. Into the mirror's story. While it does make Harry seem like he's begging, he's begging for reconciliation, it also makes Harry look mature. While William looks like Harry's sudden visit caught him flat-footed, and a mid tantrum speaking of that mysterious friend of bill once again chatted with the daily beast about the non-existence plan for reconciliation between the brothers personally i'm not surprised with anything because they always tend to make harry look like the bad person but i love his action i love how he handles things he looks like the bigger brother here because how he behaves, how he handles things, he does them in a so much mature way compared to the so-called higher. I wonder if this is the same friend who told the Daily Best that the next time William would speak to Harry is at their father's funeral. It sounds like it. This friend of Bill certainly is well versed in all of William's childish and uh, hypocritical talk points. Maybe if William's friend keeps screaming this version of event, someone will believe them. Definitely not me. Because everything that it's always out and about, I'm always like, do they give a second thought before saying it? Because they say this today, the next day something else pops out. They always want to have Harry and Meghan in the picture. And now that it's Harry, they want to make him look like the victim here, but he's not. And he's not ready to play these mind games as a victim at any particular point. It's them making us see how foolish they are. And they're ready to publish anything for the sake of clickbait. Ready to, you know, say anything as long as at the end of the day, it doesn't affect them. Like, basically, that's what they're doing. And that's why at some point I'm like, we're not also ready to entertain them. At the moment, focusing on Harry and Megan. As long as they're best, as long as they're good, we're good to go also. That's my tag. I don't know what's your tag. Just leave your comment down below. Hoping to see you guys in our next video.